What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and today we're going to be doing a lot of prep work with the Miata. It should be a pretty good video. Um, I'm going to be cleaning out the engine bay because if you haven't seen, well I know you clicked on this video because of the title of the video, but I have something good that I've been telling y'all that I was going to get for the Miata for a long time and I finally have it. Alright, here it is. What I have here is a factory Mazda Speed Miata, Mazda Speed NB Miata Turbo, and the rest of the kit is actually in the back of the Miata. And I got this for a steal. I was actually about to buy a CX Racing Turbo kit, but this was a steal, like I said. I bought it from a buddy of mine, and he did not give me an intercooler for it. So I went on ahead and bought an intercooler, so I have a brand new intercooler. He has upgraded wastegate, upgraded blow off valve, and it also came with a Mega Squirt ECU. I believe it's the second one. Hold on, I have that in my car. Have that right back here. Yes, the Mega Squirt Plug and Play 2. So that's gonna be fun. And I think I'm gonna be installing all of that stuff sometime next week. So stay tuned for those videos. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, why aren't you? But back to the Miata. We're about to do some prep for it. So let me just go ahead and pop this engine bray and show y'all what I have going on under there. Alright. So what I have going on under here. I'm not familiar with these Miatas one bit. So uh, I actually don't know what I'm looking at for the most part. I mean, I know the key components to like pretty much every engine but i don't know much about this but the idea of today's video is really just to get the engine bay clean pressure wash it all spray some engine bay cleaner in there let it degrease and clean the engine bay and so it'll give me a better look over everything that i'm looking at and if there are any leaks or anything i can figure that out like i see right here there's some oil around here which might be just this o-ring or something and then these may just be spills from people not knowing how to change the oil because the oil cap is right here but let me go ahead and get started with this go get my pressure washer and just spray all of this down before i put the engine degreaser in there i have to say i do love the way these wheels fit with the green on the car man i'm not even gonna stunt bro they look nice and check out my little brake caliper job with the on i have the orange with the gunmetal, with the chrome, with the green. I want to tint out these little orange lights right here. But uh, I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Alright, so I went on ahead and switched to the GoPro view. Just so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I actually have never done this before. Uh, I think the only thing I have to do is watch out for the intake, but that's just how I'm gonna do it If you know any other precautions you could take then y'all might as well go ahead and do that But I'm about to just go ahead and get to spraying this down See how much dirt and grime I can get out of this with just the pressure washer before I put the degreaser in there Oh, it would help if I turn this thing on first All right I'm about to now go get my engine degreaser and spray this get a bunch in here and see what that can do once i spray all of that off i'm putting all my faith into believing that these seals are all still pretty good to where water would not just seep all through like the spark plugs get all the spark plugs wet 
and this seal right here to get into the oil or whatever that gets into the intake manifold or any other thing that i don't want water in but now all i have is the generic auto zone brand engine degreaser that i'm gonna douse down all of this stuff with not all of it but you know the metals and different parts of the paint along here and see what all of this can get out and y'all are looking at it right now but whenever i'm done with this hopefully it's gonna look a lot better oh i didn't know it sprayed like this And you can see like even right here, once I spray it, a little bit of the black is starting to come off. So it should not take long. Like I said, pretty much all I'm avoiding is the intake side of this and probably some of this from the map i think this is a map but if not then i'm still avoiding that a little bit While I let that sit for a bit, probably like five minutes or so, I just want to show y'all something that I do have for the Genesis and I will be installing. I've been had this, most of the stuff that I have out here, I've had for a while now. But I've been had these and I've just been sleeping on them for some reason. But here they are. I finally got some Muteki hub centric spacers that go on the front of these so it'll help with my wheel shape whenever I'm on the road. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not but the wheel does shake a little bit like just a little bit not too much and that's because i have these other spacers on here that are not hub centric and since they aren't they do tend to move a little bit not to the naked eye but you can feel that once you're steering and hub centric what that means is basically what a hub centric spacer does is it mounts itself to the center of the hub on the wheel and it'll basically give it the smoothest rotation that you can get because the more center you have something then the less moving it has i don't know if i explained that right i know I, actually i know i didn't explain that right but somebody can explain that in the comment section i'm about to go ahead and jack this side up and start taking the wheel off of here so i can put these spacers on This is the play I was talking about. Like, this is no good, no bueno. This snaps right on. It moves like this, but no up and down or anything like that. And this will not be once the wheel is on because it's gonna lock itself in place. So back to this and let's see how this handles. This thing looks a lot better if you ask me. 
I was not trying to get it 100% perfect just to go ahead and throw that out there. I went on ahead and sprayed the hood too. I don't know what this is, but I sprayed this as best as I could. It's not coming off. But uh, I also didn't put the degreaser on the hood either. But everything looks a lot nicer. I do know that it does feel a lot better working under an engine bay that is very clean. And you can appreciate having a clean engine bay and working under here and not getting all that grime and stuff on your hands and stuff. But yeah, I just need to go ahead and get this turbo kit thrown on there. Like I said, the turbo is right there. And I'm gonna show you all what I have in the back right here. Let's go ahead and pop this trunk for y'all. Still have to use a key to pop it, unless I'm inside of the car. But, yep, here's the piping. I have the radiator. I believe this is a radiator and not a heat exchanger. But uh, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. So I believe turbos use a radiator and an intercooler. And superchargers use a radiator and a heat exchanger. I think that's correct, but if I'm not, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, this is gonna be my first turbo build ever, my first turbo car ever. And so this is gonna be a journey for me. And I'm so stoked to bring y'all along with me on the ride for this. And hopefully y'all can teach me a thing or two while I learn a thing or two and drive this little Miata that I have. I, this thing is coming along, bruh. I don't care what y'all say. If y'all knew what this thing looked like whenever I first got it, y'all would see where I'm coming from. But man i just keep saying i need to do something with this hood and this trunk and it'll look like i don't know it looked like a little autocross monster especially if i lower it some i might put some fender flares on it just because look at this fitment <laughs> y'all probably gonna talk about me but look at that fitment while this dries off some i don't want to start it up until it dries off a little bit because i did just finish pressure washing it and i don't want to just start it up without some of it drying at least but oh yeah back to this thing over here first things first i was not able to install these i mean i could but i don't want to do that today just because i was mistaken the way these fit on there is a lot different from the way these fit on there they're the same size and everything but these holes do not allow the lugs to sit in them the other holes are like a lot bigger so the lugs can sit in them that's why these the lugs grip a lot better but these you're gonna need extended wheel studs and like i said i have those right here in case y'all did not believe me but i may install these off camera but then again i may just do this tomorrow morning after i get something done with these tail lights but that's for next video so stay tuned for that i hope this thing starts <laughs> <laughs> crosses fingers crossed fingers crossed all right power has power started do i hear any weird noises no not yet no check engine like oh lord that is why that's why i need another serpentine belt god That was because whenever you get a bad serpentine belt wet, it makes this loud noise. This is the water burning off. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a lot of steam. But hopefully, nothing goes wrong within the next few times I drive it. It should not. I don't think it should. All the water's going to burn off and everything it should be fine. But, yeah, this just about wrap up today's video. Like I said, I'm very stoked on this turbo build for the Miata. And, oh, was. I don't know if y'all have heard about those killer wasps in the uh, United States, but uh, those hopefully they don't come around here because I don't even like the wasps that we have now. But like I said, this just about wrap up today's video. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below. Let me know any advice that you have on this turbo build for the Miata. I know there are like buku people that have done this before, but this is my first turbo build ever. So 
I'm pretty stoked to see what I can do about that and I'm looking forward to learning everything. But as always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.